coronavirus contagion is slowing. The total number of recorded cases is rising at 6% per day, half the pace recorded two weeks ago. And the market likes the news. The 34% drawdown in the S&P has been halved. Equity funds are seeing small inflows again. Even investment-grade credits, which were bleeding in March, saw minor inflows last week. Yet, in the face of a deep recession, policymakers are throwing more bazookas. Three examples of mind-blowing policy actions over the past week. The Fed said they would expand previous programs and create new ones. Altogether, those programs will provide $2.3 trillion of loan to the economy, about 10% of GDP. This is huge, yet the Fed is using less than half of the guarantees made available by the Treasury Department. The Fed's balance sheet is rising like never before. Current money printing is dwarfing previous QE programs. The Bank of England also said they would finance the UK government directly. The Treasury can get funded by simply expanding its liabilities at the Bank of England. The separation between monetary and fiscal policy has been removed, at least temporarily. Even the ECB is relaxing its lending standards by reducing haircuts and accepting weaker collateral. They'll even accept Greek debt, which is uh, rated high yield. Those policy initiatives aim at limiting defaults and bankruptcies. It's all about containing economic destruction. Now is not the time to think about creative destruction. In the process, some capital will be misallocated but this is still preferable to accepting the permanent destruction of capital. Even European finance ministers agreed on a 500 billion package. The centerpiece is the European stability mechanism, which is not ideal as its loan will subordinate holders of government debt. But this also opens the door to outright monetary transactions, i.e. more support from the ECB if needed. These policy actions are stabilizing the markets. We expect the rally in equities to run out of steam, but our preference for safe credits remains strong. Even weaker credits may continue to recover as the Fed is dipping a toe into the high yield market. Happy Easter week. They say.